My name is Paul Wilms. Uh, I'm a track fellow here at the University of Luxembourg, more specifically the Luxembourg Centre for Systems Biomedicine. And here our research team is applying molecular microbial ecology to various different microbial communities, including those of human health and disease interest. We do research in wastewater treatment plants and we also do research, for example, in the human gastrointestinal tract. Both are microbial ecosystems and actually are not that different in terms of their ecology. And it is that what is at the heart of our research. We are developing high resolution molecular biology methods that allow us to investigate microbial processes, be it in whatever ecosystem that we're interested in. I think the most fascinating part at the moment within our lab is basically the discovery which we've made that a lot of the RNA, and in particular small RNA, that is in circulation in human blood is exogenous, so that is not human. That is primarily derived from microbes in and on us, as well as from diet. And environment and this will lead to a number of exciting discoveries in uh, the near future. As a Luxembourger and of course as a Luxembourgish scientist I am very very happy that these initiatives have been now launched here in Luxembourg. I think it is really fundamentally going to change Luxembourg society and also its economy. So I am really really proud actually that Luxembourg has made this commitment to science. My name is Carsten Hiller and I'm an FNR Attract Fellow and in my group we are researching cellular metabolism. Cellular metabolism or the interconversion of small molecules to other molecules is more or less the final phenotype of a living system and that's the reason why cellular metabolism is really important because this is what really drives life and what is really going on in the cell. Metabolism can be measured at least on two levels. One level is metabolite amounts which is measured in metabolomics. But in our lab, we, in addition, also analyze metabolic fluxes, or the interconversion rates. So the, how many molecules are converted from one compound to the other. And this is dynamic information, and this is in analogy to uh, flowing traffic. In the biomedical context, this is very interesting because, for example, cancer cells, they switch their metabolism, and they change the way how they utilize, for example, sugar or amino acids. And knowing how fatty acids, for example, are synthesized is of high importance to understand the disease. Coming from MIT to Luxembourg was, in my case, a big win because here I had the option to set up an independent research group. We had a lot of uh, budget or support to buy all the mass spectrometric equipment that we need. Everything is brand new and we have all the resources that are needed here to do independent research. My name is Ines Thiele, I'm an FNR Attract Fellow and I will be um, doing research on computational modeling of human metabolism to understand how diet and nutrition can influence human health. We try to represent in the computer as accurately as possible metabolic routes, pathways and reactions that occur in the human body. So the research is about using those computational models as predictive tools to guide experiments and to guide our understanding about how metabolism and human work. The beauty of this is that you can use it for any disease that has a metabolic cause. So one can try to understand cancer with that, at least the metabolic features and phenotypes of cancer. One can, um, of course, study inborn errors of metabolism that are inherent to diseases. They are slightly simpler to study as they are single gene caused than cancer or obesity or metabolic syndrome. So that is a good case study that we actually in the laboratory use as well. Being in a small country has a lot of advantages. Ways are shorter. Um, maybe the system is a little bit more flexible. There are more opportunities for young researchers to develop and explore themselves and to contribute with their research compared to other places where you have more um, established structures.